Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unbox and Reviews Now 2, and on today's video, we're going to take a look at how to modify your NVIDIA graphics driver to make the system more responsive, more snappy, and potentially gain yourself some FPS. Now, everyone's installation will be slightly different, so I'm not going to give you any specific facts and figures here, but certainly, if you do want to trim down the size of your graphics driver and possibly remove some features that you no longer need, then this is going to be right up your street. So without further ado, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. So on today's video, we're going to be taking advantage of this file or program here called NV Cleanstall from the guys over at Tech Power Up. So click on the download link. I'll put links for this in the video description so you can get it nice and easily. Click on download. You can choose where you want to download it from. So just get the location, which is nearest you. Doesn't really make any difference. They're not localized in terms of language. So just go for whichever server is closest. So I'm going to use the UK one as we are in the UK. Choose the location to download it to. So I'm going to choose our Windows desktop. Click on save and it should be done very quickly. It's only about a four megabyte file. Once that's done, you can close down your browser window and now we can head over to the NV clean stall actual application. So double click it to run. You'll get the user account control come up. So click on yes to continue and it will do a quick scan and it will ask you to select the driver version that you wish to install. So by default, it's going to try and go for the newest one, depending on your graphics card and what is actually supported. So currently we're using NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 Super graphics driver 561.09. So again, install best driver for my hardware. Alternatively, if you actually want to do a different one, then you can choose here, manually select a driver version, and then you can choose show all versions, click on the down arrow, then you've got all the different versions. So if there's a specific driver version, which works best for your particular game or application, then you can choose whichever you want, including the desktop versions, the notebook versions, and also the studio driver versions. So choose whichever one is best for you, or like I said earlier, you can just let it do what it thinks is best. You can also, if you want to, natively install NV Clean Install on your computer for future use, or you can just download it whenever you want to. But this is best for us at the moment, so we're going to click on Next. So now we can choose the components that we wish to install. So there's a couple of presets here at the bottom. So you've got All, which will include everything which is in the driver. You've got the Recommended, which is obviously what they recommend. And also you've got the Minimum Installation. So for the very minimum installation, it basically just does the display driver and that is it. So that is going to be the most minimal installation. If we choose recommended, it's going to also install PhysX. Also, it's going to enable the HD audio via HDMI. Obviously, if you're not outputting your audio via your HDMI cable, then you can deselect that. Also, it's probably a good idea to install the Microsoft Visual C 2017 runtime, just in case you get any weird DLL or runtime issues. Also, other things to be mindful of, if you're using a laptop, there's a strong chance that it's going to be using Optimus to be able to switch between the integrated graphics and your NVIDIA graphics on my laptop. Really, I would suggest for each one of these, if you're not too sure what they are, just click on each individual one and choose whichever ones you think make sense. So these are the main display driver components in this top section. You've also got the GeForce Experience components here. So things like virtual audio, the telemetry data, the NV containers, things like the GeForce Experience and Shadow Play. So if you do use Shadow Play in certain other things from the GeForce Experience, obviously you are going to need to reinstall them. If you don't use them, then it's absolutely fine. Some of these will actually need other components. So if we choose something like Shadow Play, you'll see here on the right hand side, it says that it requires the GeForce Experience it also requires virtual audio and it also requires the process monitor. So if we just highlight shadow play, it doesn't automatically do the other ones for you. So do be careful, make sure you select the right ones. Now I don't use any of those, so that's absolutely fine. I'd use OBS, but for that, all we need is the actual drivers themselves. So when you're happy, click on next. And then what it's gonna do, it's gonna go onto the internet and it's actually gonna download the NVIDIA installer grab the display driver, and then we can make some further adjustments. So now in this next section, we can make some tweaks to our installation to further customize it. So disable installer telemetry and advertising. Clearly we want to select that. 
You've got the unattended express installation. So yeah, that's probably worthwhile doing that. Also, I would suggest as well, perform a clean installation just to make sure that it removes the existing drivers. If you haven't already used something like DDU, which we've done a separate video on, you've also got the option to add hardware support. You've also got the option to enable the DLSS indicator, which will show the version of DLSS you are using in game. You've also got the option to disable multiplane overlay, disable Ansel, and also the option to show expert tweaks. Now for me, this is fine. I just want to disable the telemetry and advertising and perform a clean installation. You potentially may have more options. Again, just choose whichever ones are applicable to you. And now just sit back and relax and let it do all of the installation for you. You'll probably see a blank screen or your PC may actually restart. Don't worry, don't panic, just let it do its own thing. As you can see, there we go, we've got a blank screen already. But let's just be patient and let it carry on until the finish. Okay, so there we go, it's all done and dusted and it's completely finished. With this window here, don't close this window until the entire process has finished, otherwise uh, uh, it will make things go bad for you and you'll have to start over. As it says there, Close this window only after the installer completes or you've copied your files. This ensures proper removal of temporary data. So that's fine. So we'll click on close and that is it. We are pretty much done. So now it's running and you'll find you've still got the NVIDIA control panel there. That will still work, all that kind of usual stuff. But you should find if you do Alt Control Delete and look in Task Manager, you may well find there are less NVIDIA tasks running in the background and potentially making your PC a little bit quicker. So there you go, there is NV Clean Stall. Pretty useful little application. And for those of you that like to trim the fat out of your GPU drivers, I think it's gonna be very useful indeed. And if you've used it previously or you're gonna do it after this video, let us know what your comments are, what your experiences are, and if it actually improves your gameplay, removes stutter, maybe increases your FPS. I'll be interested to hear your stories on it. So I think that's gonna wrap this one up. I'll be Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.